Seeking to protect the integrity of the very foundation of our democracy, our system of voting, Pennsylvania has joined 15 other states to require that citizens present a valid, non-expired photo ID before casting their vote in either a primary or general election. We, the people who cast our votes to choose who are going to govern us, deserve to make sure that we have integrity in our election process. And how else can you do that other than to ensure when somebody votes, they are who they claim to be? Across the country, each election season brings reports and criminal prosecutions of illegal voting, either individuals voting under a fictitious name, voting multiple times, or stealing the vote of others, even deceased persons, by assuming their identities. The voter ID bill is probably the most important thing we can do to protect the election process in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. I've supported this measure probably since the 2000 election when we saw a lot of voter fraud that took place in not just in Florida, but also in Philadelphia and throughout the state of Pennsylvania. Since then, I think this issue has um, garnered the about 83 percent support throughout the state of Pennsylvania. The new law accepts a number of different forms of ID as valid, including driver's licenses, military IDs, college IDs, or those from long-term care facilities. The State Department of Transportation says that 99 percent of voting age adults in Pennsylvania already possess photo IDs. Those who don't may, under the new law, get a free ID from PennDOT. I think when you look at the Um, the right to vote in this country. It's our responsibility as legislators to make sure that we safeguard the election process. People depend on us to do that. And and I think this is just a common sense um, issue that we're taking up here today. And I, I I find it very hard to be, for anyone to be against that. And I think the fact that our polls show that 83% of Pennsylvanians support this shows that this crosses um, political parties in in a big number. While the new law takes effect immediately, voters in April's primary election will still be able to vote without a photo ID, but they will be reminded that for all subsequent elections, voter ID will be required.